I know I don't really need to say it, but taking over a country is and was a pretty big deal. The blood of thousands of men, women and children was spilled in the defense of their homelands and invading forces were, for the most part, treated with a prolonged and veiled hostility. So how was it then that in early 1939, at the advent of World War II, a proud country like Czechoslovakia simply surrendered their whole country in only three hours? First things first, it's worth keeping in mind that the Czechs were no Nazi lovers and their resistance self famously assassinated Reinhard Heydrich who in 1942 at the time of his death was head of the SS and Gestapo as well as architect of the final solution. A pretty important dude to the Nazis who then sought their revenge on countless innocent Czechs who they massacred indiscriminately. With this point out of the way and the willingness of the Czech people to fight being undoubted, the question still remains, why were there absolutely no attempts of initial resistance? Well, that answer lies in one of the most extraordinary browbeatings in the history of diplomacy. When 66-year-old former Chief Justice of Czechoslovakia, Emil Hacha, was thrust into the turbulent political sphere of 1938, he simply wasn't ready for it. Nearing retirement, Hacha suffered from a heart condition and was relatively frail. However, this didn't stop the Czech National Assembly from naming him as replacement president. This change meant that Hacha would be the one to stand up to Hitler on behalf of his nation, and as the title of the video suggests, that didn't go too well at all. In 1939, trying to proactively engage in discussions with Hitler, Hacha requested an audience with him in Berlin, where he and his foreign minister were greeted with military honors. Although things seemingly started out great, Hitler obviously had a plan and sensed the fragility of his Czech opponents. The visitors were then called in at a snug 1.15am to attend a conference in the Führer's study at his newly built chancellery. This supposed conference between the two countries quickly turned out to be more of a pseudo Gestapo interrogation than anything else. Hitler, his own foreign minister Joachim von Ribbentrop, Hermann Göring and General Wilhelm Keitel were all present for this seemingly schoolboy bully type of a conference. The two Czechs were told that they were to be introduced into the Third Reich after the signing of the papers for surrender, or they would see their beloved capital of Prague be pulverized by bombs by daybreak. Hacha pleaded with Hitler that his people had a right to live a national life, but the pleas were met with deaf ears and the diplomatic hounding continued. The four Germans, all standing around a table, were constantly thrusting the documents to the Czechs as well as pushing pens into their hands, all while continuing to threaten them. At one point, Hitler warned them that for every Czech battalion attempting to stem an invasion, there would be an entire German division ready to overcome it. This all proved too much for the old Czech president and he fainted twice during the conference, only to be revived both times by Hitler's personal doctor. The pressure was obviously unbearable for the man, and at 4am, Haha finally signed the surrender documents that were hastily translated into Czech, agreeing that for the sake of calm, order and peace in Central Europe, he would not resist a German invasion. Although he appeared intimidating and unwavering during the talks, he was anything but. And truthfully, if England or France had reacted right away, the course of the war would have changed in the Allies' favour early on. Nonetheless, as a recent commenter on one of our videos said, History doesn't care about the what-ifs, and Hitler was exalted and his confidence drew dramatically at his first annex of a foreign power. It was only later that evening when Hitler and his Wehrmacht forces occupied Czechoslovakia, and Hitler, obviously still beaming from his diplomatic conquest, publicly announced that Czechoslovakia has ceased to exist. The unfortunate Haha essentially was forced to act as a Nazi puppet until the country was overrun by the Red Army and he was thrown into a Prague jail where he would die on June 27th of 1945. As per usual guys, let me know your thoughts on this cool and unknown little story of World War II in the comments section below. And just before you go guys, make sure you do check out the Patreon link in the description below. Any dollar really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned something new.